Hi guys, Andy Kent Survival here. Um, thought I'd get out today and do a ration review. It's been quite a while now. Um, the one I've got is a German EPA ration. Now if you're thinking that looks a little unusual, that's what I thought, that's why I picked it up. It's um, like a single day patrol ration type thing. Its components are genuine German military ration components, as you've seen before in some of my videos, but it's put together by a commercial company, so it's commercially available. So I don't know if the military used this particular thing, um, but it's like an individual meal or, or patrol ration sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, get some water boiling and we'll see what we've got. You may see a bit of smoke next to the fire here, but we'll see what we can do. Right, so let's get into this thing. Okay, you might think it looks a little big for a, uh, a single meal or, or single patrol ration. So let's look what we've got here. First up, this is just to say that the chocolate is a different expiry date to the rest of the contents there. So that can go on the fire. All right, so we have an accessory pack. We've got some sugars, a packet of tissues, one sachet of salt. We have two creamers or whiteners for the coffee and tea. These are two coffees. 
We have some Wrigley Spearmint Gum and some Maggie's Bullion Cube. Also got this energy drink, a Dextro energy drink. So lemon or a citrus flavour, I believe. Interestingly, we have here one, two, three, four hundred milliliter water pouches. These are kind of like them emergency ones you can get. So uh, we'll see what they're like. We have a chocolate bar, 50 grams, and some crackers. I'm not sure exactly what sort these are. We'll have a little look. Some of the rye bread that you've uh, seen before. Not the nicest thing in my opinion. We have an apricot and strawberry jam. Two different sausage spreadables. And this is our main, which is a casserole if I remember correctly. It does say champignons on the back. So I'm assuming it's got mushrooms in there. And that's everything. Just gonna set our main into this boiling water and we'll get that warmed up. Well, the main's going there. I'm just gonna do our energy drink. I've just seen that it's a fruit mix flavor, it says on the pack here. So I'm just gonna use this bottle. It says uh, 0.75 liters, so 750 milliliters. Uh, so I'm not gonna use all of it because this is just 500 mil. In fact, I may have to tip some out first. Very powdery. I think that should do. And we'll give that a shake. It's time to get that off and we'll get some water on. that kind of fits on. And we want enough for our tea and coffee there. Well we'll do the coffee in here. And have a couple of sugars with that. Seeing as we have plenty. There we go, get our water off. Should do. Right here there's a lot of light aircraft around today. It is a weekend and good weather. So I'll put some of this creamer in here. The problem with the light aircraft when filming is that they're so slow to go over as well. <laughs> right, so we'll give this a mix. There we go, lovely colour. And we'll use the other cup for our tea. So our sugars. Two in there as well and our black tea. I'll put some creamer in that in a bit. We'll just put these aside and get our main out. Actually before the main we'll uh, have a look at some of these. So we'll get the rye bread out here. Come with these ring pulls on. Yep, and they're just as they were last time, where they look like a coaster. Very thick rye bread. And we may as well get out one of our crackers as well. I believe I've had these before, I can't quite remember. See they're quite well packaged there so they don't crack. There we go, get a couple of them out. And I think I'll go with one of our sausage meats here. Of 
got a smooth consistency. Comes with no cutlery this pack by the way. And we'll go on the rye bread with that. Bon Appetit. The rye bread's so strong in flavour that um, it's almost hard to tell what the sausage pate is like. So I'll try some on a cracker as well. There we go. That's much better. A lot more of the flavour comes through and I've never been a fan of these ones anyway. So I'll try the other one now, which is this. Oh, this one's very smooth. And we'll try that on another cracker. There we go. Yeah, I definitely prefer this one. I'll um, put a translation up on the screen. But this smoother one is, is very nice. I think I may have some more. These crackers are quite good, they, they're plain but they have a slight sweetness to them as well as a saltiness so they can go either way, so we'll try them with the jam in a moment. Mm. Yeah that's nice, we'll try it with some of our mixed fruit energy drink. That's pretty perfect in flavour actually, I think I mixed that just right, tastes uh, more orangey than lemony, but it's like a citrus mix I believe. we we'll use one of our tissues here, just to clean off the knife. And we'll try our jams. We'll start with the apricot there. Very vivid colour. Very smooth. go. Yeah that's not bad at all. Not the biggest apricot lover in the world but that's nice. Let's try out the uh, strawberry here. Again pretty smooth. There you go. Yeah, it's a pretty standard, delicious um, strawberry jam there. Because that uh, washed down with some of our coffee. Nothing wrong with that with a bit of sugar in there. You all know me, not the coffee man, but <laughs> we'll uh, try the tea in a moment. Well, with most of that out of the way, we'll start on this. I think I'm probably going to cut it open because I know what these can be like. So we have pasta, wasn't expecting that. Well we've definitely got our mushrooms in there and what looks like tiny meatballs as well. So I'll try and get a bit of everything on a fork. There we go, see a tiny meatball, a little bit of mushroom and some pasta in what looks like a bit of a tomato sauce. That's, um, it's not bad, it's lacking in a little flavour there. I think it's time to put in our salt. Not too much, mix that in. We'll try it again. It's definitely a little bit better with the salt in there, definitely needs it. It's quite a loose sauce, would have preferred it to be a little thicker I think, but we do have our crackers, so we can give them a dip. Adds a bit of a different texture to it, you could if you wanted to break some up. A bit of a dumpling substitute, or even to thicken up that sauce if you wanted to. Right, so let's check out the tea here. 
I'll uh, put in a bit of cream of first, I think. Not too much. Give that a mix. There you go, it's quite strong that creamer or whitener. Probably a bit too much. Yeah, it's a little weak for me, I'd say, considering it's been steeping there for a few minutes now. Give it a little while longer, but yes, it's not the strongest tea. It is. Whatever that says. <laughs> this, however, I'd be more than happy with. It's a pretty substantial meal. You get a lot more than it seems in one of these little trays. They're not too stingy on the meatballs or the mushrooms. The sauce could be a little more thicker, in my opinion. Yeah, I quite like it with them crackers in there. They had a little crunch to it. Man overboard. I would actually say I prefer the coffee to the tea in this pack, which is um, pretty remarkable for me, a tea drinker. I was camping with some friends the other day and they think I should have some t-shirts that say I'm not really a coffee man on. <laughs> I do seem to find myself saying that a lot. With that uh, tea thrown out now, I'm going to try some of this drinking water. I nearly forgot about the stock cube there, the bouillon cube. So we'll get this open. Ooh. Nice clear water. I've seen these in some rations before where they're just for use with the, um, the ration heater. So it doesn't appear to be the uh, cleanest water in them ones, but this seems to be fine. Another one there, and we'll get that on the stove. There's some more water boiled, finished off the main there. I'd say it's pretty mushroomy, maybe a little oily for some people, but it was pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best I've had, but I'd be happy enough to get it. Here's our stock cube. I'm guessing from the colouring it's kind of a um, chicken. Add a bit of a mix. Let's dissolve very quickly. You can see the fats come into the surface there. I'm going to transfer it into the steel cup here. The aluminium one gets a bit hot. Yep, that's a very hot, very salty chicken stock. Yeah, I'd be happy with that to, uh, if it was a cold night or whatever, it'd be very nice indeed. Mm. Well, get your salt fix from that if you've been sweating all day. So I'm going to put this aside. Probably not going to finish that off. And we'll look at our chocolate. It's a very hot day today and this has held up pretty well, mainly because it's a dark chocolate had one of these before in another EPA. There you go. Pretty standard. It's not bloomed or anything. Looks pretty new. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Gonna have some more. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks to be a 45% cocoa chocolate there. Which brings us to our very last thing. Our pretty standard retail Wrigley Spearmint. exactly as you'd get in the shop. Yep, pretty standard. Five sticks, gum. Don't tend to see them in sticks as much these days. But uh, yeah, it's pretty standard. Thank you for joining me for this uh, slightly different EPA German ration. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've uh, enjoyed, well, most of it really. It's been pretty a good one. Not one of my favorites, but I'd certainly be uh, happy to get it. If you've enjoyed this video, I'll stick some more on the screen for you to check out in a moment. Until next time, thanks very much for watching.